Hello friends, uh, today I am trying to cover a very beautiful blanket uh, which I found on YouTube and on the internet. Actually not on YouTube, you do not get how to make this. The, the pattern is a written pattern. The person who made it is written the pattern out. But um, I couldn't follow it because if you notice these uh, blocks and these granny squares that are made are not all completely a complete square they are a bit different so for instance you have a complete square here then the one next to it at this point and this point these two are L shaped on the corners here you will get a small little square shaped ones and uh, right at the bottom here if you notice you get a little bit a uh, longer one like a rectangular shaped one and every single one of these somehow looks like four granny squares connected at the center but they are not joined they are separate from the looks of it it seemed quite complicating to me so what i decided was to tweak it and um, get the same effect but um, in a different pattern so you might wonder how these pieces are made and how the calculations are so this video is basically for those who know how to crochet, they don't need to be shown how to crochet, only you require a little bit of an explanation as to how to go about it and the mat behind it. Depending on the length of the blanket, you can either make um, a blanket of eight colors and colors ten colors depending on the number of colors you choose or the number actually the number of main big squares that you choose decides the size of your blanket she the original uh, maker has used eight squares eight complete granny squares as in this one okay it's complete She's used one, please just follow the pencil, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these complete squares sit right at the center of the blanket. Then you've got the L-shaped one. What do we mean by L-shaped? Meaning it's a combination of three of these small square ones one two three connected or a small section of the big square missing from one side that's how it gets an l shape these l shaped ones you require a total of 92 if you're doing eight with eight um, main squares and you want the sides to go to six each on each side you require six of these l-shaped ones so if i'm starting with the center a brown square let's oh, use the green if i'm using a center green full square full granny square here along its sides going to the edges require 12 l-shaped ones one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Suppose you want to reduce the width, then you just make 10 of them, or 8 of them, or 6 of them. It really depends upon what you want. You can also make, you know, small baby blanket. Just tweak it a bit, and you are there. But it won't have the effect that it requires to have. If it's a very small blanket, it needs to be widespread for you to see how it feels. Alright, we have 8 colors. 
but not all eight colors require 12 if you are going for a six on each side you don't all require 12 for all the eight you require 12 only for the top six colors the starting one and the ones that follow up to six the seventh and the eighth because they're towards the end of the blanket here you require to make 10 each why because when you're starting here there is there are two triangle shapes up here that remain empty you need to fill that how do you fill that with the ones that are not complete at the bottom so let orange you get four on each side the fifth and the sixth from here go to the extreme top corners and for green you just get to use two at the bottom here and the other eight go to the top corner under orange you take the position under orange and before your first color all right all this done and done we still have small spaces left empty that need to be filled so for that these small squares that I just showed the one fourth of the granny square you require um, how many of those you require 16 of those they sit on the ends 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 right down here 15, 16 and the other places you require to fill it up with a half granny square or two piece granny square okay this one occupies the lower extreme corners the upper four spots one two three four now uh, i made a mistake in making this this one and the mistake is i made borders on this side and this side you can have borders on two sides because this is sitting only on the edges of your blanket hence you require to have only one side border like this because this side this side and this side will be attached to some piece or the other that is already bordered like this for instance and this is a full one like this so this side is covered by this this side is covered by this and the upper side will also be covered by another one we don't want the borders we do not want the borders to be um, to double up we don't want to have green black black green we just need to have it like this we just noticed because the colors are touching green and not black directly places where there is no border made like this will be touching the black and not the green so there might be a slight deviation from the pattern might not look good uh, so i guess we will have to put a green border along all the other sides that are not having a black all right i will make a few samples and see how that goes and i will uh, show it to you in my next video but do not put a black on all of them just make sure you're having your border only on the ends for this one and these two corner ones will have to be one side and one side two sides will have to have the border but the top ones, the other four, will have to have borders only on one side facing the top. Okay. So this is the picture I made. 
this at a numbers. Eight and this ninety two. This one is six. Just once the I suggest is make a drawing of this sort for yourself so you know exactly what is sitting where make sure you have a proper border that is distinct and stands out all right my next video i will be showing you how to make these pieces i don't know i just made the video showing you all those who want to watch it most welcome the rest of you please if you are watching this video Please subscribe and comment if there's anything you think I could do to better the video. Suggestions are most welcome. Thank you for watching and have a great day. I'll be back soon with a video showing how to make these awesome pieces and perhaps one showing you the finished product.